Tuberculosis is a, a mycobacterial infection. It's contagious, it's spread by the respiratory route, it's inhaled. So a little bit like COVID in that sense, but unlike COVID, there's a really long lead time. So after you breathe it in, you can not be sick for several months, or in fact, not at all, because it can uh, come into the body and then it stays there for a period of years often, and the body's immune system may be able to wall it off and, and keep the host or the person safe, or it may wake up and, and cause disease. It may seem a bit random, but it's very much not random. It's, it's an infection that's been evolving with humans for thousands of years. People might be interested to know that the mummies in ancient Egypt you know, suffered from tuberculosis. In order to be infectious with tuberculosis, you, you have to be generally unwell and it has to cause disease within the lung. So typically like a pneumonia essentially, and typically someone would have a cough, they might be coughing up blood or losing weight. And that's the scenario in which people are most infectious. But it needs to be understood as well that tuberculosis can be spread without the person knowing that they have tuberculosis. And unfortunately, that's pretty common. So in the world, there's 10 million new cases of active tuberculosis each year. Uh, so they're people with potentially infectious disease. And just over half of those people are diagnosed, meaning that half are not diagnosed. And they're walking around and living with family and working with friends and going to school and university, and, and they don't know about it. And they're, they're unfortunately spreading it to other people. It's very serious. I mean, many people will be surprised to know that tuberculosis kills approximately 1.5 million people around the world each year. And in 2019, it was the number one cause of death for a single infectious disease. And that became number two in 2020 due to another infectious disease that many people will know about with SARS-CoV-2. In Australia, we, we are lucky to be what's called a low endemic setting for tuberculosis, which means that we have less than 40 cases per 100,000 per year. So we're, we're quite lucky in that sense, but people would be wrong to think that tuberculosis is not in Australia. Uh, here in New South Wales, we have uh, six or 700 new cases of TB each year. And in Australia, it's, it's in, in total, it's around two to 3,000 cases of tuberculosis. And TB often in Australia affects young people. It's not an old person's disease in Australia. Most of our cases are young, 20, 30, 40 year olds. The treatment for tuberculosis is quite prolonged. I mean, most treatment regimens for TB are six months of multiple antibiotics, and it used to be up to 18 months, in fact, and still can be, but we've got some new treatment regimens that have shortened that duration. Yeah, there is a vaccine that's been over 100 years old. It's really effective for neonates and, and children in preventing uh, mainly extra pulmonary TB. But unfortunately, it's not effective for adults. So there are some new vaccines for tuberculosis that have been developed and they show really great promise and, and efficacy in reducing TB disease in adults.